the Kipsongo slum. The community people would call it the slum of the dogs, the slum of the hopeless. The Kipsongo slum is embedded within uh, Katali, and Katali has thousands and thousands of people. Yet those thousands of people, again, treat the people within the Kipsongo slum as a place of the dogs, a place for the hopeless. Home in the Kipsongo slum is made out of trash. It's made out of plastic. It's a horrendous, horrible home with, that does not protect them from, from uh, human contact or from nature. Let me just share for a sec the Chicken Dance Marathon. The campaign started in communication with uh, some kids, students at uh, Woodrow Cummins Elementary School in Conway, Arkansas. It was just uh, two 30-minute conversations, one with third graders, the other with fourth graders. And basically what, what we did was we showed them a picture. We showed them a picture of a little girl by the name of Helen. This is the picture that was shown these students. And let me tell you something. It ignited their thoughts in ways that went beyond my imagination and I mean, my understanding. To, to not only describe her, but more importantly, the kids started raising their hands and, and they would make statements like, what can we do? Or they would say, we have to do something. So we decided that, hey, the Makanis know how to raise chickens. And so they decided, instead of getting them something like shoes, which they needed, but would wear out, let's get something that they could use on a sustained basis. And we began to talk about the importance of sustainability, self-support, and so forth. The Makanis knew how to raise chickens, but they didn't have the resources to build a chicken coop and to purchase egg-laying chicks. And that's exactly how the Chicks for Children Marathon began in May of 2009 with all the students from kindergarten through fourth grade at Woodrow Cummins, we had our first chicken dance marathon. Actually the first year, if you can imagine, it was a two hour marathon in which the children would literally uh, do the chicken dance. You know, da 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 That's what they did. It's changed, we don't necessarily have the same number of minutes, but it's like a marathon. And for instance, last year in April, we had four to 5,000 students doing the chicken dance marathon at the same time singing the song, I wanna be a kid who cares about the kids in Africa. And you know what was really exciting was nine hours later, the orphans in Africa were singing the song I want to be a kid who cares about the kids in America. And so here we have kids helping kids, and you can't beat such an equation. During the week of April the 14th, there will be a chicken dance marathon. And, and, and think about it, there will be a chicken dance marathon across nine different elementary schools. So, hey, one, you can take your pick. Two, if your child goes to one of those elementary schools, Go support them. Let them know that you're very much a part of this chicken dance marathon. Understanding this, there is a cause involved. 